What's up guys? Welcome back to another Yoshi Engine tutorial. Today, we will be covering how to add custom characters into your mod. Now, I would like to say, if we get 50 likes on this video, I will make the next part sooner, I guess. Um, not today though. I already did two uploads today. So going into our workspace, we're going to see cube. Um, let's just quickly delete it because we want to start from scratch. So that was just my test to try out the character editor. And I will say it is amazing. Way better than Psych Engines 1. So let's go ahead and press create on the character section. Your character. Let's just call it cube character icon browse you can make this any uh directory but what i would recommend is going to your yoshi engine mods versus cube images and icons i do not believe the icons thing will be there by default so i would recommend creating it do icons loaded And then the character sprite sheet should go in characters. I'm not exactly sure what. Okay, there. That's what that's what the create button did. Uh, I was a bit confused. But there we go. Let's go ahead and edit our cube character. And there we go. Now this might look a bit intimidating, but let's uh, let's go through all the different things. Use players colors. Um, if you just want the normal notes to be normal, you can check that, but we don't. Let's just say in here. Let's do that. And then for the right arrow, we're going to do the same thing. So, all right, guys. So after messing around with it a bit, I cannot get to, I cannot get this color just copy over from the other one. I couldn't match it for some reason. It's just, it's a bit glitchy, but. You can get generally the same color. Um, if you want to. That or you can just make them all different colors. There we go. Character settings. You can flip the character. Can be skinned. I'm not sure what that is. The camera offset of the character. The scale of the character. And the position of the character, obviously. So you can use, um, you can use your arrow keys to move around this. And what you're going to want to do is you're probably going to want to line it up with the dad. There we go. That's good enough for me. And now let's get into the animations. Oh, you can also do use most present color there. We're going to want to do add Anim name, idle, and then going into your XML of your character. First cube, characters, cube, no. Images, characters, and then the XML of your character. Mr. Cube Idle, so that's what my idle is called. And there we go. We can also change the animation offset and all. Um, add another one. Seeing up, and then for me that would be Mr. Cube up. And then just move him up a bit. All right, and then add, sing right, and then Mr. Huber. I'm just going to speed up this process since you guys get the general idea. All right, once you've gotten all of your animations done, you're going to want to press the save button. 
character successfully saved. And go back. I think you're gonna have to have that checked. I'm not sure. But um, something you will notice is if you go into a song, you won't have the character. So what you're gonna have to do is if you don't have any songs in your mod yet, like me, to test your character, you're gonna have to paste it into Friday Night Funkin. Whoops. And then you have to use Friday Night Funkin, obviously. And then going into free play. It's not free play. Selecting our song. And choosing our character. As you can see there, it's working exactly as intended. Um, all the note colors are working. Um, all his animations are playing. His icon is working. Basically, it was that simple to create a character in Yoshi Engine. It was as simple as that. Um, it's definitely a lot more intuitive, I guess, than Psych Engines. I'm not gonna say Psychs is bad, but compared to this, it is very nice. So what we're gonna do now is um. We're gonna end off the video. Again, 50 likes for the song and week tutorial. So uh, yeah, that's all for this video. Leave a like, subscribe. Anyway, bye guys. All right guys, so um, I I was like just under the eight minute mark um for my video. And that's, uh, that's how I can get extra monetization. So I thought I'd just talk about Yoshi Engine a bit more. So I think, I think this is a very neatly put together engine and I'm very excited to see more updates for it. Um, I think it will be a very cool engine come, come a month or two. I don't think many people are going to be using Psyche anymore. Um, Yoshi engine is just so well made, so easy to use. And I, I'm very much excited for new updates. But uh, yeah, bye guys.